Hello, welcome to Leo Green Studios. Today, I'm going to teach you how to draw Spider-Man with coffee. Part 2. Last video, I drew Spider-Man in a black Spidey suit. Today, I'm going to draw the last three actors to play Spider-Man. So I'm starting off my drawing with a gesture drawing. My gesture drawing is just to kind of show where things belong. So when I do my contour drawing, I won't be so stuck on not wanting to change any mistakes that I've made. When working with my figures, I try not to stay with one facial feature too long. I like to move around my subject. That way I can compare and contrast the, the size and proportions of different facial characteristics. Sometimes when things aren't working right with your drawing, you're gonna have to just do one thing, and that's just erase.
I was telling a student the other day that nobody's perfect. And when I do my drawings, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to capture the form the way I see it. And then after I work on these things, I can come back and correct any mistakes that I find. Mistakes are a good way to determine what I need to change. Like maybe I need to bring this eye over or pull his nose down or up.
I really had fun creating these web suits. Drawing the shapes of the webs by actually using the negative space. With my coffee palette, I start off by having the darkest and the richest amount of coffee that I can make. So the first part of the coffee is almost like a syrup. Then I continually add a little bit more water to it, diluting it 50% in each palette circle. You can see it getting lighter as I continue this whole process. I'll do this until I get all the way around to where the water is almost clear.
I started applying the coffee in the darkest areas. At the current moment, it's not really as dark as I would like it, but I'm fine with that because I know that I'll have to make this in many different layers. So this is my first layer that I have down, and when this dries, I'll come back to it. So I'm trying to find the darkest spaces first, and then I'll apply the paint, or in this case, the coffee. Right here, I'm just laying down all of the different values that my palette has. So it won't be a surprise how light or dark some of these coffee uh, washes will turn out. watercolor I have to in my mind know where I want to keep all of my highlights anywhere that I want to keep completely white I have to make sure that I don't have any coffee in that space just like watercolor once this color or the coffee is down on the paper it cannot be picked up the only way that I would ever to make an area white again is to actually paint over it with white.
In my artwork, I like to work in stages. At this stage, I'm working on repeating my process of layering the values. I know that layering my values, or in this case, make the coffee darker in places. So I'm trying to have a rich and many, capture many layers of dark values by applying the coffee over places where I've already had it. Here, I am finishing up my painting. Just putting some touching ups where I see I need to have the lighter or darker values. Looking over and checking. I'll probably have to wait for it to dry again to make any other corrections. But at this current time, I'm happy with my subject. Thank you guys again. Make sure that you like and subscribe and leave a comment. What Spider-Man version would you like me to do next? <laughs>